This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurges.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire E11 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire E11 laptop computer. The part number is also known as ES1-111M. So either E11 or ES1-E11M. Okay, uh, before we start replacing the screen, we need to make sure that the laptop is off. Uh, there's To do that, make sure there's no lights blinking and this power bu button is not on. And if any of the lights are blinking, do a long press of the power button, about three or four seconds, and the laptop will turn on. If any time during the procedure the laptop automatically turns in, on, once again just do a long press and it turns off. There's no removable battery so that's how you need to make sure that the laptop is off. The tools we're going to need for this are a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. Um, a hobby knife or an exacto knife with a pointed end and that's to lift up adhesive tape and a pair of metal tweezers and that can be remove any screws that are stuck and manipulate cables inside the laptop. Okay, the first thing we need to do is snap off the screen bezel. There's no screws securing the screen bezel so we can just snap it off. To do that we use our fingertips or fingernails to gently lift up the screen bezel from on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds and go around the screen. If you get stuck any point, uh, skip that spot and keep going around the screen and come back to that spot later. So doing this we go all the way around the screen like so and lift up and remove the screen bezel. Once we do that the screen assembly is exposed and we need to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom to remove the screen from the screen assembly. We use our screwdriver to remove the four screws. One, two, three, and four. And when we do that, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward when you remove all four screws. Once the screws are removed, we gently grab the screen by the top and lay it down. Once we do that, the connector is exposed and we need to lift up the adhesive tape securing the connector. And there's a piece of tape that's not adhesive, so we grab that end and gently lift it up like so. Once we lift up the tape, grab the connector by the, by the back end and pull it out and the screen is disconnected. To reconnect the screen we push the connector back in and when we do that we will, we will feel but not hear two clicks so that means the connector is properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of the connector. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, once again, we remove the connector. Now let's take a look at the screen. This is a 11.6 inch slim EDP screen with a matte finish. So there's two types of finishes, matte and glossy. Most of the size come with a matte finish, but if you have to specify which finish you want if you want the exact finish. It's a 30 pin connector as compared to a 40 pin connector to for the older screens. And the part number is N116WHM-N21. That's the part number you look up when you're ordering the screen. You can also order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. We have this exact toolkit that ships for free with the screen. We have a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. 
uh, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out and that will guide you to buy the right screen online. If you, if you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world that just select your country. Once you do get your screen in, most likely it will not have the same exact part number. The part number will be different, but the screen will look exactly the same. And once you do get your screen in, insert the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen inside the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top and two at the bottom. And then snap the screen bezel back on. And that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.